Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Robbie Christie palette. It's a two-sided palette that she just released. I managed to get my hands on one before they sold out at Ulta. Um, so what I want to do is today I want to play in the neutral side. No, normally I don't really do neutrals because it's not my vibe. It's a really pretty palette, as you can see. And it is double-sided, so this will be like a two-part thing. Here's the colorful side. So far, I really like it. I haven't used it yet, but I like the color schemes. I like how everything goes together. So I cut my hair off, so I was tired. And I was just like, okay, yeah, let's do this. See what happens. And so we did it. No regrets. So yes, we're going to play with the neutral side. And she did mention that on the palette, the rose gold will be the more neutral side. And then the holographic colorful side, where her name is, that indicates the colorful side. So that way you don't get them mixed up. I thought it was pretty cool. And the design packaging is amazing. It feels really, really high end and it is but it feels really really nice and here's the box Bobby and Christy and it has the names of all the shades and the ingredients and just a little bit about the palette don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it So I probably could have used concealer since I'm using the um, neutral side. Or what I did was I took some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I put some of that onto the back of my hand. Now I'll go ahead and put that on my eyeballs. Ready. And so first I'm gonna go ahead and take this JH33 brush from Morphe. I'm gonna go into the shade B in my crease. So I've actually never used any of the Pure Cosmetics eyeshadows before. The only thing that I think I've purchased from them is their mascara, and I really like it, that fully charged magnetic mascara. Man, I missed that. Honestly, I need to go buy another one. The Bad Girl Bang, I don't, ugh, don't like that at all. Pure and Tarte make the best mascaras, like make the best high-end mascaras that I've tried so far, or those are the two that I prefer. But this eyeshadow, it actually blends out pretty nicely, and this is just the first color. And the second color I'm gonna go in with, I feel like it should be Copper Boxes. I'll just put this right above B. All right, those blend in really nicely. That's crazy. I'm not pressing in really hard or anything. It looks good. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with Camelot, and this is a JH32 brush. That last one was an M433. This one's a JH32, and let's just blend this out a little bit more. That Camelot color. That is really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease now. So I'm gonna take more of my primer and just cut my crease. Sure, let's make this fun. Um, so I'm gonna go in with It Just Does and just pat that onto the crease. That is very, very pretty. Go back in with B just to blend this side out and deepen up that crease. Then copper boxes to blend it even more. And then in the um, inner part where there's still like leftover primer, I'm gonna take a little bit of my whole heart and just pat that right there. And it's kind of mixing in with the, um, it just does shade. There we go, that's kind of cute. Okay, so I'm gonna use my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner and we are going to do just a simple wing. And let me see if we can do this on camera.
Okay, that looks good. So since I have hooded eyelids, um, what I like to do is make a triangle in the outer corner and then uh, take this top line and then connect it to like maybe the middle of my eye. So that way um, it doesn't look too weird when I do a wing because if I go all the way in, it'll look like I'm doing too much. And I don't have a lot of lid space. So I also um, make sure that you could see all the eyeshadow that I did. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other wing, but off camera because I need to try and make them even. Okay, I need to know where that trick was. Where I was trying to do this back when I didn't wear a lot of makeup. So it still looks like I have like I have a wing, but at the same time you can see the inner part of my eyeshadow, which is really, really good. So now I'm gonna take my high hyaluronic acid from the ordinary. It's like six dollars and eighty cents on Ulta's website. Some of that. This is just for like hydration purposes. soak into the skin oh, that is on I'm gonna take some of my milk hydro grip primer and I'm still got a little bit left and my cover effects mattifying primer plus acne treatment and so I mix these two together and I mean one's moisturizing the other one's like mattifying I just use it to fill my pores in here and then moisturize the rest of my face I'm gonna let that soak into my skin and I need to go wet my beauty blender so I'll be right back and so the beauty blender has been moisturized and so now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Too Faced Ethereal Loose setting powder and the Kat Von D locket powder and just put that right on this part of my face because that's where all my pores like all my noticeable pores are and this is gonna help my makeup look a little bit more smooth and a little bit on my chin I'm gonna take my NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Nutmeg and I'm also gonna take the one in Warm Honey and mix those together with just a little bit of the Warm Honey as well as some of my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Will Coverage foundation in the shade Nutmeg and we're just gonna mix all that together and start putting that on our face. And then after you've done your cheeks, you might wanna put the leftovers on your nose. Like don't go straight in on your nose so it doesn't look like I mean, it's not natural, but it doesn't look as cakey. And then you can go in on your forehead. And then I usually need just like a little bit more foundation. And I don't go in with the Can't Stop Blown Stop one on my forehead because it gets a little bit dry. So mix that together and put that on the forehead. Might have put too much warm honey on there, but it's fine. Just bring it back down. Fix the lighting on my camera. So we're good now. After we do that, we take the Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade 38N. Put that right underneath our eyeball and there's this method on TikTok that everybody's doing so I might do that. I mean it doesn't really make a difference what method you use you're gonna get the same results anyway so it's all gonna be spread under here. I hope I didn't get it on my eyeliner but if I did it's fine we just do more eyeliner. I usually blend out my chin, my nose, and my forehead first and then I let my um, under eye concealer sit. Okay, once those three are done, since it looks like I have weird light spots on my face, I go back in with the other side of my sponge and use that leftover foundation to kind of blend it out. Make it look a little bit more natural than it was looking earlier. There we go. Okay, so let's go under the eye now. Press that in, I'll go up here, and then do the same thing with that foundation. And then sometimes this side comes out a little bit lighter, so I will add just a smidge of of the foundation on here. I'm using the darker one, Nutmeg. I'm gonna take my small tapered brush from e.l.f. and just pat on some powder, small amount. And now I'm gonna take this highlighting brush from e.l.f. and contour my face. I 
I'm using my very old Anastasia contour palette. And this one's in the shade tan to deep, so I don't even make this anymore. Take my small tapered brush again and just blend out the edges of this with some more powder. Take some blush. And this was like the birthday gift at Ulta this year. So it's the NARS, NARS Orgasm Blush. Matches the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this one. And I definitely forgot to contour my nose, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Blush can wait. Same contour palette. Bring that up into the eyebrow so it makes it look like we are naturally contoured and just get the little edges of your nose. And now let's take the blush. And put some on the bottom of the nose. I'm using the Milani Luminoso Glow Palette that I broke when I was in Ulta. So I was like, you know what, I feel bad, I'll just buy it. So I'm gonna use some of the shades and just mix them together and put that on as a highlight. And then on the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna blend that out. Cupid's bow and then chin. And so now let's move on to lips. This is the NYX Cosmetics Matte Lip Liner, Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. I opened a new one because I lost my other one. We'll just line our lips with that. And then this is the NYX Lingerie Push Up in the shade Seduction. I actually really like this color. I tried the, and it tingles a little bit, um, but I got these from Target for like two or four dollars or something, and I tried lace detail last night, and I was just like, Ugh. So I have to put some lip gloss on top of it, but this color is way better. Yeah, they are way lighter than the lid indicates, but um, I thought this was going to be way darker. So I ended up putting some um, some of my Fenty Gloss Balm on it. And I just realized I did lips before I did like mascara or anything. So I'm going to do some mascara and some lashes off camera and I'll be right back. We didn't even do the lower lash line. What am I doing today? Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take the shade B and put it on the lower lash line, but at the same time kind of blend it out. And then copper boxes right underneath it. And you know what, while I'm here, I'll just do some inner corner highlights. So I'm taking the shade Golden Ticket and putting that in the inner corner. There we go. Oh, that was really pretty. And now I'll do some lashes and I will be right back. Alrighty, and that would be it for the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this was like a, just a little part one of our Bra Beauty Christie palette review. And I really, really, really liked it. It uh, blended out really easily and the colors are super pigmented. And it's $36 on the website. I know that they were doing some kind of restock um, and I don't think that they're back in stock just yet. But I got these on, I got mine on Ulta. Um, Ulta's website for $36 as well. Actually, Michael bought it because it's my birthday present, so yay! Yeah, this uh, neutral side, I love it because you could have like a little pop of color, like what I did here, or you could do it with this color as well, but I chose to go with the more corally shade. Um, and if you do have the chance to pick up the palette, I definitely recommend you doing that because First of all, it supports Raw Beauty Christie, and we love her because she's just wonderful. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye.